What is your best advice to give someone to move on from a relationship or friendship that was toxic? Uh, to move on from it? Yeah. I mean, you have to be in a place in your life where you're actually willing to move on. You know, you have to, um, you gotta get rid of that person. <laughs> like, you're, like, I mean, not like that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Murder. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so if you subscribe to the channel, you may know I've been reading Jessica Simpson's recent autobiography, Open Book. And what better time to finish it than during this global quarantine? It's a great read and just making me love her even more. We know that Jessica's lived in a handful of lavish mansions from Beverly Hills to Hollywood and more. But her current home is the nicest one of all. In this video, we'll be taking a look at her massive estate in Hidden Hills she resides in with her family, her previous homes, and more. Jessica Simpson or Jessica Johnson, considering she's been married to football star Eric Johnson since 2014. It's a singer, actress, fashion designer, and now author. She's one of the pop princesses of the early 2000s, and many of us consider her America's sweetheart. Although Jessica was well known in her younger years for her relationship and previous marriage to Nick Lachey, she made sure she wouldn't let that define her, even despite their hit MTV reality show, Newlyweds. I suggest if you want to know more about all of that and what it was really like, definitely read her book. Which, might I add, made it to number one on the New York Times bestseller list. These days, Jessica and husband Eric have three beautiful children, and she's been looking better and happier than ever. <laughs> Besides her music career, Jessica launched the Jessica Simpson collection in 2005, which is a fashion line of clothing, accessories, and more. The brand has earned over $1 billion in revenue, making it one of the most successful celeb brands in history. That being said, Jessica's current net worth is at an estimated $200 million, and that doesn't even include her husband's money. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today we're going to be taking a look at where Jessica Simpson calls home, including her current Hidden Hills mansion and more. And Christina Aguilera isn't the only pop star who bought a house from the Osbournes, but I'll explain that a little later. If you like these videos, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified when we post, you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Christina Aguilera and Britney Spears, and we'll have links to some at the end of this. Follow me on Instagram because I love getting to know you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and who's home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. Like I said, Christina Aguilera isn't the only pop princess who bought real estate off of the Osbournes. Jessica's current mansion in Hidden Hills actually used to belong to Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne, and Jessica took the house off their hands in 2013. So we're gonna take a look. According to records, the mansion set Jessica and hubby Eric back 11.5 million, but it's well worth it. Located in the elite Hidden Hills, a celeb-filled neighborhood next to Calabasas, she has no shortage of famous neighbors, surrounded by the likes of Kris Jenner, Drake, and more. Jessica's mansion spans about 11,000 square feet of living space and is so massive it resembles a five-star hotel more than a family home. There are six beds and 10 baths, and the house sits on a sprawling 2.5 acres of land. Not to mention the property is protected by a guarded gate and security system to keep intruders and paparazzi out. The Cape Cod style mansion was built back in 2001, but had plenty of work done to it since. Not to mention the famed interior designer Martin Lawrence Bullard helped to reinvent the home's design. When you first walk into the home, you're greeted by the grand staircase framed by floor to ceiling windows, which Jessica has shown off on her Instagram before. There's also a massive eating kitchen with state of the art appliances and a bright breakfast nook. And for the more formal get togethers, of course, there's a spacious dining room. The house is full of features like high and vaulted ceilings, natural light, open spaces, sliding barn doors, and chandeliers. Other common spaces in Jessica's home include more than one living and family room, a den or study room, and offices. There's also a home movie theater and a recording studio where Jess has been working hard on her upcoming album. Most of the bedrooms in the home offer balconies to enjoy the views of LA, and the master bedroom is especially luxurious. Jessica and Eric's master suite is complete with a fireplace, French doors open 
opening to a private veranda and a Victorian style master bath. There are his and hers walk-in closets, not to mention Jess has a separate one for all of her shoes. If that's not enough space, the property holds an additional guest apartment complete with a kitchenette. Apparently it wasn't enough space for Jessica and her family because last year aerial photos revealed they were adding in an additional wing on the already massive estate. Now the mansion has not one, but two wings coming from the main house. Workers were seen laying down panels of wood for the new space that connects the main house to the separate section of the home. Outside Jessica's home, somewhere on the large manicured lawn, you'll find a cow statue perched there, giving the home a ranch feel. And the animal statue remains at the property to this day. I'm guessing Jess loves it because she's from Texas. Jess loves throwing parties at her mansion and it's perfect to entertain. Whether it's for Easter or Halloween, her home is the gathering spot. Outside the home, there are covered patios, a large built-in barbecue, and additional spaces to dine and relax. Of course, there's a large swimming pool and spa offering perfect views of the hills. For her kids, the yard also includes a jungle gym, a basketball hoop, and a swing set. Looking at Jessica's main house, I can see it's one of the nicest celebrity mansions I've seen by a landslide, and I doubt her and Eric will be moving anytime soon considering they've made it a dream home. Prior to Jessica's current family dream home in Hidden Hills, she lived in Beverly Hills in a home she purchased back in 2005 for about $5.2 million post-divorce from Nick. The home looks something like a life-size dollhouse and has plenty of feminine charm. Jessica's previous home was spread over 5,500 square feet of living space, had five beds and 5.5 baths. The cozy entryway leads guests into a main foyer with a grand spiral staircase, and the design appeared to be chic and girly, but still with a homey feel. Inside, there were plenty of French doors, white marble, chandeliers, and new appliances throughout. Other features of the home included a gourmet kitchen, home gym, and outside there was a koi pond. The outdoor courtyard had an ivy-covered wall in the home and a cobblestone walkway. Not to mention the unusually shaped lot had a long private backyard with a large pool and patio. This home served Jessica well for quite a few years, but in 2013 she sold it to none other than actress Jennifer Lawrence for around $7 million. Before I wrap up this house tour, although I don't like dwelling on the past, let's quickly look at where Jessica lived during her filming of MTV Newlyweds, just in case you were wondering. For the record, Jess admitted in her book that it felt more like a ghost house to her and she was rarely there aside from when they were filming. Her next Nicholas Shay's formal marital home was located on a secluded drive in Calabasas, and this is where many of the scenes for their hit reality show were filmed. So if you watched, you may consider this home a landmark. Built in 2001, the newlyweds house spanned 6,438 square feet and had 5 beds and 7 baths. They got the home for only $1.7 million in 2002, but by 2005 they were headed for a divorce and needed to sell the place, passing it on to Malcolm and the middle actor Justin Bearfield for $2.1 mil. Secured in a gated community, the mansion offered an eye-catching swimming pool and spa, fountain, outdoor lounge area, and barbecue. Inside there were all the fixings of an elegant mansion like a grand foyer, winding staircase, and high ceilings. Other features included a wine cellar, movie theater, recording studio, and games room. Not to mention an impressive master suite complete with fireplace, balcony, two walk-in closets, and equally nice attached bath. Although this home may not have been Jessica's happily ever after, it lives on as a little piece of pop culture history. So now we've seen Jessica Simpson's palace in Hidden Hills where she lives with her husband Eric Johnson and their three kids. Like I said, it's hands down one of my fave celeb mansions to date. The whole home has a classy feel and everything you'd need and more. I love everything from the yard, the massive pool, and the elegant designs like the Victorian style rooms, even the giant cow. What did you guys think of Jessica's mega mansion? Also, I wonder what they're using that new wing they added on for. We also saw the house she lived in way back with Nick Lachey for their MTV show Newlyweds, which feels like a lifetime ago, and her previous Beverly Hills house. Be sure to tell me which spot is your fave. Okay guys, now I'll read out some comments from previous videos. On our recent Christina Aguilera house tour, Sejuani commented saying, You remember back in the day when Kelly Osbourne was like Extina's greatest hater? Imagine how she felt when she bought their mansion. What a queen move. Kelly must have been so pissed. And the same video Michael Trudell wrote, I love the wood in the second home. Both homes are amazing. It's always amazing how a woman can have such a large collection of shoes, but I'm just a guy. Very true, and I probably would have more handbags and shoes personally if I was a celeb, but I'm not, so I don't need to worry about that. And finally, on our Mariah Carey
Fairy House tour just in Salvat Row. Yes, finally the video I was waiting for. I would love to see Cher or Celine Dion's house. Great suggestions, Justin. Thank you. All right, guys, that's all I could find on Jessica Simpson's houses, including her mega mansion in Hidden Hills and the houses she used to live at. Honestly, I never knew how massive her current home is, but I love it. Which part did you guys like the best? Let me know in the comments, as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.